Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us understand series RL circuit by connecting an AC voltage to this. This is the series RL circuit. You can observe resistor R and inductor are connected in series. Now I am applying this AC voltage to this circuit. The AC voltage V can be written as Vm sin omega t. When we apply an AC voltage, the current flowing through the circuit will be in this direction. So since it is a series circuit, the current flowing through the circuit in R as well as in inductor L will be same. And the voltage drop across the resistor is Vr and voltage across the inductor can be considered as Vl. In the previous video we have seen when we are applying an AC voltage to a pure resistor, the current and voltage are in in phase. So the voltage and current phase are if we write they are in same phase and they will fall on the same axis. We can say the phase shift will be 0 degree in between these two. Suppose if we apply an AC voltage to an inductor where current and voltage are out of phase. Out of phase in the sense there will be a phase difference between the two signals and voltage if this is an voltage axis and the voltage phase are current will be in this direction means current I will be with 90 degree phase shift with respect to the voltage or we say voltage is leading voltage leads the current right this is what we see in the previous video now we have connected these two in series so we need to write the phasor diagram by taking the common current means current is common in between the two into account so let me write the phasor diagram like this. So I is the current flowing through the circuit. This I is common or I is same flowing through the resistor as well as inductor. So if we put Vr, it will fall on the same line since Vr is the voltage across the resistor and I is the current flowing through that. They are in phase. And if, you, if I put Vl, Vl vector will be in y axis. So I and Vl will be out of phase means these two will be having 90 degree phase shift. So this is the voltage across the inductor and this is the voltage across the resistor. Now the total voltage V we are applying here. If we, take, if we plot the total voltage vector it will be in this direction. By using this phasor diagram we can write voltage triangle by using Vr and Vl over here and this is V. So by looking at this we can easily say the hypotenuse that is V we can write the expression as under the root Vr square plus Vl square. This is just by applying a Pythagoras theorem we can easily write the expression for V. Now if you look at this V and I these two are having the difference of phi. Let me call this phi as power factor angle. So this is the power factor angle phi. So phi can be written as it is tan inverse of tan inverse of Vl divided by Vr. This is by using a voltage triangle. In the similar way I can also write the impedance triangle or the resistance triangle we can say. This is the resistance with respect to the Vr with respect to Vl that is XL reactance of the inductor and the total resistance or the total impedance we say that is Z of the circuit. So what is Z here? Z can be written as it is again under the root resistance square plus reactance of the inductor square. So R square plus XL square under the root will be my Z. So here again I can write the power factor angle it is tan inverse of xl divided by r here what is xl xl is a reactance of the inductor this can be written as omega into l here omega is the angular frequency l is inductance so i can write again omega as with respect to the frequency we can write it is 2 pi into f so what is xl so xl becomes 2 pi f into l this is what the impedance of the circuit now let us write the expression for power average power consumed by this circuit 
so for power let me write the instantaneous power first p instantaneous is equal to voltage into current what is voltage voltage is vm sin omega t now what is current flowing through the circuit in the previous uh, phasor diagram itself we get the angle so this is the total voltage v this is i the phasor diagram will be having an angle phi this is so current will be having a difference of this angle with respect to voltage so let me write current as im sin omega t minus phi why it is minus phi means vm will be having sin omega t with respect to that current is lagging behind that's why i am writing it as minus phi vm im here sin omega t and sin omega t minus phi will be taken as sin a into sin b so sin a into sin b can be written as cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b divided by 2 with this formula is concerned here if you apply for sin a by treating this as a and this as b it gives divided by 2 i am going to write here so cos pi minus cos of 2 omega t that becomes omega t plus omega t minus phi that's why it it is 2 omega t minus phi directly i have written so this is the instantaneous value p instantaneous generally we are going to represent power with an average power average power in the sense we need to integrate this to a complete one full cycle i am going to write this uh, expression over here here again we will be having 2 omega t in this expression so the p average or the average power becomes vm im divided by 2 into cos pi cos phi so this is the average power dissipated by the circuit when r and l are connected in series and we are going to apply an ac signal to this where this cos phi is the power factor of the circuit cos phi is the power factor where phi is the power factor angle this is how we can analyze the rl circuit in the next video let us see how rc circuit rc series circuit is going to behave and let us derive the expression for p average with a phasor diagrams thank you